What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome. Today I want to talk about these two radios. This is the uh, Radio Master TX16S and this is the Jumper T18 Pro and I think these two are the radios that you probably want to buy. They're absolutely the best values. They're both multi-protocol. They're both really nice. They both have some really nice features. So the question then is which one of these is better or maybe the better question is which one of these is better for you. So I'm going to break them down. We're going to talk about the differences. I'm going to run through the pros each one has um, and then kind of compare that to the other one and then you can decide which one is best for you. I'm not going to tell you which one you need to buy. You got to figure that one out. But I do think that each one of these has a certain person that makes a better buyer. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about these two radios. Um, we've got the Radio Master TX16S and the Jumper T18 Pro. Now they're very similar in look, size, shape, and feel. Uh, Radio Master and Jumper were once the same company, but Radio Master went their own way and Jumper decided to keep uh, producing products. So, you know, that is a whole different story. Anyway, let's talk about these two radios and how they're different. Now, I've already released a video on this one, the Radio Master. If you want to see in depth uh, more about this, go ahead and check that out. Today, we're going to focus more on the 18 and how it's different than the Radio Master. So you can kind of decide which one of these do you want. You know, right off the bat, you can tell they have slightly different look. You know, basically the case is the same. We've got this cool carbon fiber. I definitely give the edge in terms of looks to the jumper. But, you know, that is just my own personal preference. Other things that right, right off the bat, you got to know the difference. This is a four in one module with the Radio Master, whereas the jumper is a five in one module. Now they're both multi-protocol and you can fly almost anything on them. Spectrum, Fly Sky, um, FR Sky, Hubsyn, uh, SEMA, everything, MJX, they'll fly all of those. Now the jumper being a five in one module means it also has built into it uh, FR Sky R9, so the long range, the 900 uh, megahertz, um, 915 actually, or 8, what is it in Europe, 865, something like that. So that that is also in here. So if you want long range stuff, you can do that with this um, without having to buy anything else. The Radio Master, you'll have to purchase a separate module to do that. Now, there is a bay in the back, so if you want to add Crossfire to either of these, you can. So right off the bat, that R9 um, addition to the radio or to the jumper here, that's that's really the biggest difference. Okay. Um, then you have the look. Um, something I really like is this double power button. I'll have to power that up here in a second to show you that. Um, but that's actually a really nice feature. Um, it has a foldable handle here for the jumper, whereas the Radio Master is just this solid handle. Jumper actually comes with slightly better extras. You get this carrying case. It's a nice zipper pouch. Uh, you get a strap. You didn't get one of those with the Radio Master. I got a USB cable, some screen protectors, a battery tray, um, and some extra parts and whatnot. I really do like this case. It's a nice zipper case. Radio Master came with this giant phone case. I mean, it is nice that it has a case. Um, there were a few other things in there, USB cable, um, even a keychain. So I, I definitely have to give Jumper the edge in terms of extras, right? The, just the, uh, you know, the battery strap and the case alone are nice. Plus this, um, I like these little screen protectors. I can't remember if I got one of these with, uh, with my Radio Master. Um, I use LiPos in there. Now, other small differences, um, the return button is up here on the jumper, whereas the return button is moved on, <laughs> on the Radio Master, um, and that's where the model button is here, where the model button is there, right? No real big difference. This wheel is a plastic wheel, um, whereas this is a metal wheel, right? That's actually kind of nice. Uh, the, the jumper feels lighter. Let's actually put them to the test. 691, 691 grams versus 767. So yeah, the Radio Master does have a little bit more heft. Um, 
you can kind of see it looks thinner and that's just because these grips on the back are a little bit different, right? I have a little bit more grip on the back of the Radio Master. Uh, some people like that um, thumb pinch uh, works for either. Now I have a couple different gimbal options with the jumper. I can get hall sensor gimbals or or I can get Alps RDC 90 gimbals, and that's what these are, and they're really nice. Um, so are call sensor gimbals. Uh, I can't actually tell the difference. Um, even cheap gimbals. Uh, so the gimbals are kind of lost on me, but you know, supposedly these are better, right? Uh, the build quality is supposed to be really darn good. Now the Radio Master has three options. There is the light version, which is 160 bucks. Um, there's no five in one module, so there's no R9 in the 160 model. $160 model. The $170 model has Hall effect gimbals, which are really good. That's the same as these. Um, and then $190 gets you these RDC 90 gimbals, right? So that's kind of the difference. Also, hmm, big difference. Actually, I didn't mention it. This antenna on the top, this is for the 900 megahertz antenna, right? The antenna on this uh, for 2.4 gig. That's what most people fly. That's most drones. Um, it's internal. It's a PCB based antenna, which is nice because I don't actually have to have that antenna on there. I can throw this in my bag. It's a little bit more portable, right? So this is more portable than the Radio Master for that reason. There is a drawback to PCB antennas. Generally, they are about 60% as efficient um, as one of these standard antennas. So um, the range on this is gonna be a little bit more limited. Also the R9 range is gonna be limited to 300 milliwatts. That's the output power, the max output power of the built-in module. So just kind of know that. So that is the jumper. All right, so let's focus a little bit more on the Radio Master and tell you some of the things that this uh, stands out. And first is the better range, right? We have this 2.4 gigahertz antenna. It's a standard antenna, which, um, you know, is 40% more efficient, right? Is, is that always translate? I, I don't know, but um, you do get better range. That is for certain. Uh, Joshua Bardwell did a test on that. Go ahead and check out his video. Um, the other thing that I really like is this bottom hatch. Um, you can see I have access uh, to my SD card right here, and I have a USB-C port. That is for internal charging. I can charge the battery inside. I also have a couple of servo ports. Now, both of them have spots up here for USB-C, uh, but both of the spots up there, that is just for uh, playing simulator. The access point for the SD card on the uh, jumper is inside over here, and it did come with an SD card, so that's pretty cool. You can see the larger battery bay on the Radio Master. The jumper is a little bit smaller. I like to use this uh, 2200 milliamp hour LiPo, and it does fit uh, in the uh, Radio Master, but in the jumper, it's just not quite small enough, so I had to opt for a smaller battery. These grips are nice. Um, they add a little bit of weight, a little bit of bulk, and the rubber dial, I'm sorry, the metal dial is, is pretty nice as well. It has just a better feel, more premium touch to it. Buttons in different places doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's not good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, but this screen, this is a touch screen. Now it's not enabled right off the bat because OpenTX didn't support it out of the box, uh, but when that update comes, you'll be able to use this as a touch screen. Whereas the jumper has promised, they will make a touch screen and then you can install yourself. I don't know about that. You know, really they're pretty similar. Uh, one more thing, the uh, jumper has this larger speaker um, and you can see that we need a, a slightly different attachment here to order to get it to balance properly, right? This one balances pretty darn well. Um, when it comes down to it, the Radio Master is a less expensive one. You can buy the entry level TX16 without the Hall sensor gimbals for $120 or upgrade for the Hall sensor gimbals for $150, right? That's a really good deal. Whereas, you know, this one, the $160 light version of this radio isn't worth buying. I, I can't imagine why you would. That doesn't come with R9. So your next model up is 170 for Hall sensors versus this, which is 150. For most people, I think the Radio Master is probably a better value. Uh, but there is one case, maybe two, where I think the jumper makes a little bit more sense, right? So if you're an R9 guy and uh, you're cool with 300 milliwatts, yeah, jumper's cool. Or if it's just something you want to dabble in, awesome. Or maybe you're a uh, whoop pilot and you want something small, you don't want to worry about the antenna, uh, the big range doesn't bother you, you like the look of this, you know, that's a good case for the uh, the jumper. Now, 
The jumper has been known to have a little bit more in terms of um, problems, glitches, uh, issues. So, you know, you kind of kind of keep that in mind. I almost feel like this jumper was a product that they pushed to market. I think Joshua Bardwell said that too, right? There's no USB-C charging. That's strange why uh, they weren't ready with a touchscreen like Radio Master. I don't know. Uh, but that USB-C charging is kind of a big deal, if you ask me. So ultimately, you know, you can kind of decide you like the cool looks of the Jumper T18, or do you want kind of the more practical, probably better buy, the TX16S. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, hey, hit that subscribe button. We have more content coming your way. Give us a thumbs up. If it wasn't, if you didn't appreciate it, thumb this video down and we'll do better next time. You know what, if you have a comment, leave it down below. If I missed something, is there something about these that I, that I missed? Let me know. Uh, I need to know that so I can make these videos just a little bit better. If you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com where we have everything from photography to FPV. Hey, good luck and happy flying.